What's up everybody, this is Master EN Gamer, and welcome to another Overwatch news update. Earlier today, developer Jeff Goodman made a post on the Overwatch forums, outlining a number of significant changes which are going to be coming for the game's support heroes. So let's jump right on in and take a look at what these changes are going to be, the explanations behind them according to Jeff Goodman, and then give my own thoughts about what these might mean for the game. So for starters, we have Ana. Nano Boost additionally heals the target instantly for 300 HP. Ana has a very strong and unique toolbox with the potential to dish out more healing than any other hero in the game. That said, she has a couple disadvantages that can be difficult to overcome, such as the potential to miss your targets, not having any mobility options, and having a more difficult time keeping herself healed up. Her ultimate can be very powerful but often feels like it can be difficult to use effectively, unless it is used in combination with other allied ultimates such as Genji's Dragon Blade. This new change change allows Ana to use her ultimate as a clutch save on a dying teammate, or even use it in combination with her biotic grenade for a huge instant heal or even the biggest tank health pools. Now at first when I read the actual change, I didn't think this was going to be anything too substantial, but hearing how Jeff talks about it, I'm now starting to realize that this could cause some rather interesting meta changes. An ultimate ability which now not only increases their damage resistance and damage output, but also will fully heal any non-tank heroes, and even for the tanks will still heal a substantial amount, this is going to be a rather interesting ability that she can now use. I'm not sure whether it'll be enough given how poor of a spot Ana has been in in the past few months, but if nothing else I have to say it's a rather unexpected change. This is one where I'm actually very very excited to see how it ends up playing out. Moving on now to Brigitte, Shield Bash cooldown increased from 6 to 7 seconds. Shield Bash is Brigitte's strong Longest ability, and its short cooldown makes it very difficult to play around. We'd like to keep her shield bash and subsequent melee combos powerful and effective, while just allowing a little more counterplay against it. We've talked about possibly reducing her defense somewhere, such as reducing her barrier health. However, her tank hybrid nature is a core part of her kit, and we want to make sure she maintains that feeling of being a difficult target to take down. Overall, Brigitte's win rate is still the highest of any support, despite dishing out the low lowest amount of raw healing per second. This speaks volumes to how powerful her kit can be outside of her direct healing numbers. Now I'm sure quite a few people will be happy to see yet another cooldown nerf to Brigitte's shield bash, and I think Jeff does make some really good points about her high win rate, but also the desire to maintain her status as a tank support hybrid. Really taking her entire kit into account, there's not much more they could do other than nerfing her shield bash, maybe nerfing her armor output with the ultimate it, but even that's kind of flimsy because it is an ultimate after all and you do expect it to have a high impact. This is one that I'm really curious to see what people think because a lot of people have been asking for a nerf like this, but I'm wondering if a lot of people are going to consider this enough. But moving on now to Lucio, sound barrier effect increased 50% from 500 to 750 shields. Crossfade Aura Radius increased 20% from 10 meters to 12 meters. Lucio's Crossfade Aura can be an invaluable addition for any team, but it can sometimes be difficult to keep your whole team boosted. We're increasing the radius of Lucio's Crossfade Aura to allow more flexibility in how he moves while still maintaining his powerful support songs to help out his team. His ultimate is also being increased to help counter large spikes of damage. For for example, Junkrat's ultimate can deal a maximum of 600 damage, which Sound Barrier can now potentially negate completely. It is worth noting that even though the initial shield he provides is larger, it still takes the same amount of time to destroy itself. So what he means by that is that the rate at which the extra health degrades has been increased so that the overall duration of the shields stays the same. Now I think this is a very important buff for Lucio, especially following the addition of Brigitte, his ultimate ultimate felt rather eclipsed by heroes like Brigitte and Zenyatta. Now it will of course be much better at negating sharp spikes of damage just as Jeff said, and additionally his crossfade aura buff will just let him output more healing in general, which is always great. Moving on now to Mercy, primary fire healing beam reduced 17% from 60 HP per second 
to 50 HP per second. Mercy is intended to be able to consistently pump out more healing than any other healer over the course of a match. While this is currently true, the difference in healing is so significant that it makes it very difficult for other healers to compete for her for a spot on the team. Reducing her healing output will close this gap a little, but she will still maintain her status as the go-to pick for raw healing power. We'll keep an eye on her to make sure she is still a strong pick. Again, I think Blizzard is going for a very ideal change here when it comes to Mercy. One of the biggest reasons that Ana hasn't really been a viable pick lately is because Mercy is just, well, pretty much objectively better. Reducing the healing output of Mercy's primary fire won't really change her playstyle, it'll just make her slightly less effective in a way that gives other supports more viability. Moira now, healing resource base regen rate increased 20%. Moira is a strong hero that doesn't need a ton of changes. The resource change for her is mostly to help her out in the situations where you're just not able to get close enough to the enemy to drain them for resources. Now if your team is sparring with the enemy team at super long ranges, you'll have a bit more resources to work with to keep your team topped off. So this change is pretty minor, but it seems like it'll have great effect depending on your team composition. She's always been quite strong when it comes to having a team composition with a lot of tanks who are getting up close and personal, but now it seems like she'll have a bit more viability when it comes to more spaced out combat. Overall, I don't expect this to cause really much of anything when it comes to meta shifts or how she's played, but it will be a decent little quality of life buff for her. And last but not least, we have Zenyatta, who has no changes. We aren't making any changes to Zen right now, as we feel he is in a pretty good spot. He's doing his job well as a hybrid damage slash healer, and being able to provide Discord Orb for your team will always be welcome. So yeah, Zenyatta is a pretty good support character right now, and I agree that he probably doesn't really need anything changed for him at the time being. Now Jeff also mentions real quickly that these changes will be coming to the PTR very soon, most likely right after Wrecking Ball goes to live servers, and that the overall goal of these changes was to help make all the supports a bit more viable. We of course have heroes like Mercy, who have been dominating the meta recently, and other heroes like Lucio and Ana, who haven't quite been up there. If nothing else, I think the buffs to heroes like Ana and Lucio will be interesting to see how they're played out, as they could potentially allow for new strategies. I think people will overall enjoy these changes for the most part, maybe there'll be a bit of disagreement when it comes to the Mercy nerf, although personally I think that it is called for, and it's honestly not even that big of a nerf. Honestly, I'd be rather surprised if we end up seeing her usage drop at all following this. And on one final note, I will say that it's kind of interesting how they decided to go for these big sweeping changes across the support heroes as a whole. Every single one except for Zenyatta is getting changed in some way, and so it almost feels like Blizzard sat down and focused on the support class as a whole when looking at how to balance the game better. Now, seeing them having done this, I can't help but wonder if we'll maybe see this happen again with a different class, most prominently the tank class. While we will be getting Wrecking Ball on live servers pretty soon, we have for a long time now been seeing an extreme dominance of Reinhardt being played, despite the fact that, well, he does have a ton of his own issues. I can't help but wonder if they have something similar to this planned for the tanks overall that might maybe give heroes like Orisa a bit more viability, or otherwise just make everything feel a bit more balanced. Either way, I would love to hear your thoughts about all this down in the comments below. Do you agree with these new changes that they're going to be giving the support heroes? And do you think they might possibly extend these big class changes to other classes such as the tanks? As always, thank you all so much for watching, and be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and share it with a friend if you really liked it. Subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and turn on notifications to both help out my channel and keep up with all my future Overwatch content. This is Master Ian Gamer signing off, and until next time, have a great day.